Hey there, welcome to the seventh easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. I covered the different types of variables and their various aspects in the last two tutorials, including the use of strict mode in JavaScript. And today I'm going to speak about variable scope, more specifically global versus local variables, and briefly go over accidental global variables. So the scope of variables limits from where you can access the variable. I made a typo here. Variables within certain containers, such as objects and functions, are local to those containers. So anything declared within these containers cannot be accessed anywhere else. Global variables, on the other hand, can be accessible from anywhere. So in this script here, I declared a variable called site name and I gave it a value of easy programming. And in the console, I'm writing site name outside is site name, which is going to be easy programming. And down here, I have a little function to serve as a container for a local variable. Don't let the function scare you. I'm going to cover functions in JavaScript more in depth in a future tutorial where I promise you, you'll understand how to write your own functions like a pro. The purpose of this function is to demonstrate the difference between local and global variables, so this is only serving as a container for a local variable that we will see here called topic shortly. Uh, but for now, let's just run what we have. And the first console log here, it says outside. Site name outside is easy programming, and site name within the function is easy programming. So we know that site name is a global variable because we're able to access it within this container uh, without passing it in as a parameter, and I'll talk about what those are later on as well. Now let's tackle local variables. I declared a local variable called topic, and I named it JavaScript, gave it a value of JavaScript. And within the function, within the same container, I'm logging into the console and saying topic in the function is topic, which is going to be JavaScript. Let's clear this. If I run it, it says site name outside of easy program is easy programming, site name in the function is easy programming, and topic in the function is JavaScript. Now, what happens if I try to access topic from outside of this function? It's not going to work because topic is not defined. Although topic is defined within this function, topic is not a global variable. So we cannot access it elsewhere. Uh, the life of a local variable ends when the function ends or at the end of an object if you're using that as a container or anywhere else that's self-contained within itself. So topic cannot be accessed here. Uh, one way to access something within a function would be to pass it back as a return value through the function and we will cover that later on but even then it won't really be a it won't be a global variable, we'll just be passing a reference to the value of the function and I'll cover that later on. So this is all there is to local and global variables. As long as something is self-contained, it's local, anything outside is global. Now I mentioned that I'll go over accidental global variables. So in my last tutorial I covered the use of strict mode in JavaScript where I said you can, without using strict mode, uh, you can accidentally declare global variables and what happens here is if I don't use the var since I'm not using use strict anywhere in this in this script and I do topic equals to JavaScript rather than var topic I'm accidentally setting topic as a global variable now if I run it update and run and look topic outside is JavaScript it let me run this line 15 console log even though topic was first defined here but since I'm not using strict mode it let me it, it pretty much let topic turn into a global variable although it shouldn't be um, normally this would be a typo it would be a mistake so if I actually go in here and I do use strict update and run and now topic is not defined so it forces me to Let me give you a better view. So uh, I'm going to get rid of this. Just to show you that even this line will not run because I did not define this earlier. So if I type in var, that line runs, but this line will not run because it's no, long, it's no longer a global variable. So pretty cool, right? So you can have accidental global variables. So be careful of how you uh, declare your variables. Uh, sometimes it's good to just turn on strict mode uh, for a few minutes and run your script to see if it still runs or if you maybe made a typo somewhere it's a good way to keep your site secure uh, I would also recommend that you visit this W3Schools link to 
to read up on JavaScript scope. Uh, it's a really good article. And always remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. If you have any questions on variables and their scopes, please ask in the comments below. I will be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching.